Okay. Now, we've got a bridge here. See that? Over our motorway, which is fantastic. You can have many more of bridges over the motorway if you like. It's a very unsensible idea to put intersections at every bridge, I might add, because you'll get all sorts of traffic issues. Anyway, what we need to do with this bridge now is we need to turn it into an intersection. And what I'm going to teach you how to do is to create a diamond intersection. It's actually called a diamond intersection. So what we need to do first is we need to get our streets and we need to flatten some land around the side of our motorway here where we're going to place our junction. So notice that I'm clicking these once, I'm not dragging them out and that places individual tiles on one side that flatten stuff out. If I go to a place with some obvious slope, just about here, see? If I click this it flattens the area out and that's what we want to achieve and just delete those. On the other side you can get away with just dragging it like this because it's just copying the slope from our other side and you need to do this both sides of your bridge. You'll see now our rural highway starting to bend downwards a little. We'll remedy that in a second but first we need to flatten that area. Once you've done that, just remove these two four even, sorry. And let's remedy this sloping issue here. Again, railway line. Place a couple of single tiles down first and drag from the rest and that flattens our highway out again. Okay. Now we've got the ground prepared, we need next to go into our highways menu, build motorways and ramps, and then go to rural highway modular interchange system. This icon it looks like a interchange oddly enough. Okay, so let's click it and we get this come up. And this is a an off ramp or on ramp or whatever ramp. We can twizzle it around any any sort of way we like, so it's on, off, backwards, forwards, whatever. And there are lots of different sorts. I'm tabbing through them now, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of variety there. The one we're after, that's the default one. This is very good for cramped urban environments, the type A. But, as you can see, we are not in a cramped urban environment. So let's zoom back in. The style we want is style A wide. Now we've got to rotate this again. Make sure that you match up your white and yellow lines. And place it back a bit from your intersection. So let's put it there. And the same again here. And on this side. I need to place that about there. And same again on the other side. Okay. Now then, we've got the start of our ramps done. Slip roads in the United Kingdom, of course. So you can see just here and just here. Now we've got to connect these to the road. But before we do that, we need to sort out this ungodly bit of slope here. Because it's Rural Highway, remember, it'll actually let you build up that and it'll look really stupid. So what we need to do is go build roads, roads, starting from here just drag a road over the top on both sides. Then delete it. There we are. We've now got our nice slope needed for the slip ramps. So, 
we go back to build motorways and ramps now go to the rural highway the draggable tool and you remember what happened from the starter piece in the last video in this time we start from here on the slip road and as we drag it out you see it copies the single lane so you can drag that all the way over from one side to the other and same here there we are and as if by magic we've now got a completely functional diamond interchange sims will happily drive around in and through that and what's meant by grade separated of course again is our primary route here doesn't give way to any other traffic and that's what makes grade separated junctions so great is because they allow the primary traffic flow to go through the junction without being interrupted okay so that's a basic diamond interchange in the next video I'm going to show you how to make some more complicated interchanges so you should watch that one as well